Okay. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Oh, Central Avenue is on now. Mm-hmm. So, I might need to do one more quick walk. <clears throat> For about 15 minutes. I know. Been walking off and on. For at least close to an hour, so. But that's why you take your medication responsibly. You let your doctors be aware of how it's affecting you during the day, idiot. And you let them, you keep them apprised of your situation. That's what normal people do. That's what normal people do. I've been doing this for years. <laughs> and haven't gotten in trouble yet. <laughs> Except when people do stupid things around me and try to blame me for it. Because <laughs> I'm disabled. That's usually when you get in trouble more, too, yourself. <laughs> I <know that. laughs> Y'all fucking insane. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm just a disabled person like any other disabled person who started hearing voices in the military of a religious nature, by the way. <laughs> but was raised in a sensible family and home. <laughs> I know. Before I joined the Navy and you and I was dealing with some Jim Jones type people. <laughs> Who are trying to make me hyper religious with them. <laughs> and kind of got caught up in the moment, but realized I was, they were full of shit. <laughs> I do, too. And my behavior kind of changed temporarily. But it's just all uh, more religious. <laughs> Which I'm trying to get out of that, right? <laughs> By the way. But I don't think Jesus is the problem. I know. I think people are misinterpreting him right? and trying to change his real message, right? which is about forgiveness, loving each other, caring for each other, and helping each other to make it through life the best we can, right? and not being so hard on each other. <laughs> Sometimes you want to make somebody like you, when they don't want to be like you, you're acting crazier than they want to be. <laughs> <clears throat> but I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm just telling you what I was involved with, what happened, what the cult was trying to do, and the cult leader. And, uh, and he's the one that was confusing us all <laughs> with the Bible. <laughs> That's usually the problem there. <clears throat> because there's things I was told not to tell anybody. So like I said, that's why I'm bringing it out now, I know, <laughs> when I was growing up too, <laughs> so, uh, so, that we couldn't really talk about. <laughs> like with Joyce Myers, I'm trying to deal with it, but you weren't there, so I'm having to make up crazy shit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I don't know what you're talking about in detail, but I know of it, right? <laughs> that these things could happen, right? That's what I really mean. That's what you really mean. They can happen to anyone. But you try to avoid it if you can. Now, like I said. If you can't tell when a mis disabled person is speaking from their disability, you don't listen to it. I know. And of course, I do voices and... Characters, which I learned to do before I joined the Navy, right? <laughs> Just something to pass the time. <laughs> like you see people do on TV. And I don't know if it's real or fake or whatever, but I can do it. <laughs> Some people really can't. Right? <sighs> Just doing what I see on TV a lot. <laughs> but not in reality. Not in reality. <laughs> see, one of the things I learned growing up is... 
everything on TV could be fantasy, right? So you got to discern fantasy on TV, like with Fantasy Island or whatever, <laughs> from what you can't do to what you can do. <laughs> but what you really got to do is play by the rules, right? <laughs> That's the whole point to everything. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Right. And see, the problem is, you can't let your fantasy world infringe upon mine either. And try to murder me or hurt me just because you're stupid. <laughs> if I know the real Jesus and you don't, <laughs> and I can get miracles like you see in the Bible and you can't, leave me alone. Leave me alone. You know what's going on. <laughs> I'm the one trying to figure it out. <laughs> what the hell you've been talking about? They're talking about someone who's been out of my life almost within six months after I met her. <laughs> who I legally divorced and everything. <laughs> who we left on good terms. Right? <laughs> and this is 11 years after we divorced, by the way. <laughs> when I go on YouTube. <laughs> they start bringing all this shit up. <laughs> Me and my ex-wife and my family never even dealt with this shit until I got on YouTube. Right? <laughs> Swear to God, right, Renee? I <laughs> know. Oh, <laughs> Right. And that was 2005. I know. Right. We never once dealt with this at all. Until you got on YouTube. Until I got on YouTube. I know. And then all this craziness started. Right? With them accusing me because my stepdaughter was four years old with her mom. With her mom. That I did something with her and I don't know what the hell to talk about. I don't know. I don't know. But right. I got out the Navy though in the 90s. Right? I got on YouTube in 2005. Right? I'm around my family and friends for almost right, 11 years. And then we never once talked about this shit happening. So I told them some things. Right? Some things I was kind of afraid to tell them. Right? Well, they might not believe me, especially what the pastor was doing <laughs> with his congregation. <laughs> and then the shipmates just were kind of acting like I was gay, which I didn't know if it had to do with the church or me or what. <laughs> and they're using my mental illness and confusion to get me from all that, right? <laughs> like something happened with the daughter when she was in there with her mom all night, right? <laughs> so I keep telling you the main thing <laughs> is you're taking something I don't remember anyway <laughs> and making me think something happened and I don't remember it too <laughs> when I have amnesia from two accidents, right? <laughs> I keep telling them that too, right? <laughs> You can't make someone remember something that either didn't happen or could have happened, but will be dealt with differently than you imagine, I guess. What you talking about? Who the hell even are you? But it don't mean you need the real me in three days, Tina Johnson. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. You're the only one to act weird about dating me. Like I told you, some of that has to do with what the church was teaching me. And I learned about the Gnostic Gospels. I'm trying to explain it to you what was going on while I was acting so weird. Whether we had sex in your mind or not, I don't know that either. But I know we went off together and did something under a tree. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know exactly what you're talking about. No, you don't. I don't.
<laughs> and all I know is if I'm doing something right or wrong, only God and Jesus can save me if you're wrong yourself. And call on them to help me. Like the Chad Rabbit, Chad Rabbit, go away. Well, that's why I keep trying to explain it to you. I don't know what's going on. I'm just telling you things I looked into and I think has to do with the Bible, right? Because of the Gnostic Gospels. I keep trying to explain that to you, too. Whether you understand it or not. I'm just trying to, right? And even with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were kind of uncertain if God would save them or not, but even if he wouldn't, they wouldn't bow to their idols or something. <laughs> so, that has something to do with it too. I'm trying to follow the pure spirit I saw on the throne in my dream and trying to figure out what that means too. Right. Of course, I'm a kid when I have it. <laughs> In uh, elementary school, by the way. Right? And that's all I know. I thought, you know. Now see, the thing about imagination is sometimes people let it get the better of them in the, even in their own mind. <laughs> and they make you try to figure out something happened I don't remember. And uh, I don't know what to tell them. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I don't even know who it is. Because <laughs> me and my ex-wife departed on good terms. Now it took me a while to get her child support. I had to get a DNA test and all that. I could tell if I was working. <laughs> but I worked all that out with her too. <laughs> That's all I know. That's all you know. <laughs> well, that didn't happen until around 2000. And then I got an ex-girlfriend calling me. And I'm trying to offer her the same deal. And I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> either. <laughs> After I moved out to Georgia <laughs> and been there for a while <laughs> since '96, <laughs> I'm last with her in September. And that's all I can tell her too. Right? What's going on? <laughs> I don't freaking know. But she done married some other guy too. He can be a problem. I don't know. <laughs> There is a movie called Sometimes They Come Back, but <laughs> that would only be if you're trying to kill someone who's innocent of all charges, usually. <laughs> and you're trying to frame somebody or something. <laughs> In most movies, like that. <laughs> and you're trying to bring in the wrong guy. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm just kind of a big movie buff, besides not reading the Bible a lot. <laughs> and like you, I was taught everything you were probably taught early on. Right. But then when the cult leader got a hold of me, I was buying into what he was saying about Jesus. But then he started wanting to do Jim Jones things with us. <laughs> I saw that. I gave them three chances. <laughs> like I said, one guy tried to take a shower with me. The pastor kind of patted my butt for <laughs> And then I think I was having a wet dream in one of the bunks. And one of the guys tried to wake me up I, like I was still asleep. <laughs> and then I quit going out. Because <sighs> of a. Uh, 
dream I had when I was around 12 after the death of my dad. Like I told you, or 18, or 13. <clears throat> and the pastor wanted to argue with me about what dreams might mean. <laughs> and I thought it had to do with the two witnesses from Revelation. <laughs> of course, they were showing me more of the Bible than I was showing them. <laughs> In Georgia, anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're trying to bring other stuff out that contradicted what I was taught. Right? In their mind, right? <laughs> That's the thing about a cult. Right? They try to brainwash you into their beliefs. Right? And they try to use God. <laughs> and that you're not following God, right? Which is called a guilty conscience. Like you're doing something wrong. When we all do something wrong. But you gotta learn to grin and bear it too and repent. Right? It's the point to everything. Right? And no one messes with someone who tells them they're mentally ill to begin with and tries to make them look crazier than they already tell them they are. <laughs> That can happen easily with a mental you. <laughs> you're just harassing me. <laughs> like you even know what you're talking about. <laughs> when I don't, you're trying to make me remember something I don't even know happened. <laughs> and I don't know who it is, but someone from the Navy. <laughs> and I didn't even talk to my ex-wife. <laughs> Hardly, except once in a while I call my son or something. <laughs> When all this starts, and I, I, you know, do his birthdays and all that, right? I know. <laughs> Trying to be a good, supportive, disabled dad, right? I know. <laughs> and. They've been attacking me since day one. I don't even know who it is unless it's members of the cult. And see, I realize what the pastor is doing is giving them a God complex. They don't. They don't. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> Well, one of the things that we're talking about is if you wanted to be a unique, <laughs> just masturbate with another brother. <laughs> they might not want that to get out. <laughs> That's why I quit going out, too. I thought they were kind of messing with me, right? <laughs> Until again, <laughs> the three incidents. This is one with a fellow brother in an apartment, they invited you to stay like that, right? <laughs> and you're just seeing how they interact with you. <laughs> but when you want them to take a tire with me, I just said, no, nah, I'm all right. <laughs> I'll do that by myself. <laughs> right? Right. But he also puts them on the guilt trip about certain things in the Bible that they don't even understand, nor do we, nor do we. <laughs> right? <laughs> Like, why the Jews don't use the name of God or things like that? Right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So I'm trying to figure it all out. Basically. <clears throat> but I'm where I'm supposed to be. In front of my house. Mind my own business. Not you. <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> I'm trying to buy it like anyone else in America. <laughs> but the thing is, you can't do something crazy either when I'm trying to rehabilitate from it. <laughs> you can't trip me up. You already know I'm disabled. <laughs> you can't do something stupid either. <laughs> Just because I'm trying to find a girlfriend... <laughs> Don't mean I need some crazy 15-year-old girl who tells me she's 37 or something <laughs> to try and have sex with me and I'll lose an hour of time or something. 
over the it to the <laughs> Oh, no. That would be crazy on you. <laughs> not me. <laughs> and you would be going mental on me, not me, you. Because <laughs> I don't know that girl was really 15 <laughs> when I met her out the blue been doing my routine. <laughs> which involved going to the nail salons. Well, yeah, I flirt with the women a little, but I don't really affect sex in the bathroom, but I had weirder things happen before <laughs> with women, though. <laughs> Over the age of 18. <laughs> and none of that's really your business. <laughs> but you're trying to make it your business like I know what the hell you're talking about. You're just a bunch of assholes who want to murder somebody, maybe. Making me call on Jesus like... <laughs> Chad right me checked the bed to go and Jesus himself who said father forgive them they know not what they do <laughs> which is what I'm using you don't know what you're doing here <laughs> no. no you don't I don't even know what you're talking about <laughs> this ain't something <laughs> that someone didn't suddenly bring up when it was never discussed before either asked my mom and family we never once talked about me even touching my stepdaughter until i got on youtube <laughs> ask them awesome. if you don't believe me <laughs> that's right i never once mentioned daphne's daughter doing anything weird in the middle of the night <laughs> so nobody knows around me what you're even talking about until i got on youtube right and that was around 2005, right? That's 11 years, though, after I'm discharged in 95, right? <laughs> Damn. And I don't even know what the hell you know about. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> but that's the point. When someone shows you a birth certificate and the photo of the child and the date might end up yours, you can't, you know. You offer her other suggestions if she wants child support or something <laughs> but in the end it's still her choice <laughs> do you even get that I'm not trying to force her idiot <laughs> I'm just trying to tell her what she might need to do which is a DNA test first <laughs> is that crazy or natural Natural. you've been watching Maury for years right me too <laughs> <laughs> well here's the problem even with my stepdad and his Two step, his one stepson and real son. <laughs> and me too. <laughs> After he met my mom. <laughs> well, his name was on the birth certificate as his then wife, whose name was Kathy, okay, as the father of her two sons he had with her before he met my mom. Right. My mom was with my dad, Bobby, right? <laughs> and again, <laughs> so, right. we're basically your own normal dysfunctional family, I guess. <laughs> But not too screwy. Not too screwy. <laughs> right. <laughs> we, we have our little, you know, things we did that should, probably shouldn't have done, but did anyway. You know, we all do that a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> but not too bad, right? <laughs> Still the 60s, 70s, and 80s when I was brought up anyway. I don't know. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I was always taught if you do something, do it responsibly with respect to other people anyway from the beginning. From the beginning. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And what I'm talking about, Mr. Young, is things that happened after I joined the Navy. Not we you knew me, it was before the Navy, right? Right. Was I ever known to be a child molester or anything? <laughs> or you yourself, right? Now, I heard rumors about it, but I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see none of that going on in your dojo, right? <laughs> But the way these people are talking, <laughs> they sound like the cult leader was doing more than I was aware of. That's what I mean. They even had a 2020 thing like my mom and grandma watched and they told me not to watch it myself, but <laughs> it kind of did. It kind of did. <laughs> I know. That's the point. That's I did quit going out there. Listen, listen. <laughs> Until I met Sheena and then I'm confused again, right? Because the girl quits writing me all of a sudden, and I don't know what's exactly going on. Right? And I had problems with my shipmates from day one. They wouldn't even train me. 
And I don't really know what to do about it. I've felt like a clinger <laughs> half the time. <laughs> and I did have a mild problem with sleeping on watch or sleeping during class when I joined the Navy, right? And it could stem a little bit from a car wreck I was in, right? I'm trying to tell you the normal side that I know at, up to that point, right? To, to, for me, I don't know, it's normal for you. <laughs> right? What's normal for one person might be not the favorite. <laughs> but I do kind of feel like a WWE wrestling star <laughs> or something, right? Damn. <laughs> Now that I'm kind of talking about it more, <laughs> I, I wrecked my bike into someone's car and put a dent in their damn hood. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> but I didn't knock me out. I was just kind of a little, you know, what's the word? Uh, concussion, but I healed real quick. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's normal for you. <laughs> no, you don't. I don't have a clue. <laughs> right. But whatever's going on, something don't want you messing with me. You ain't figured that out by now? <laughs> Just leave it alone. Yourself, yourself. Don't even get involved with it. It's not your business. No, no. <sighs> no two people are the same anyway on the planet, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what I was taught. <laughs> We're all similar in design, but not all two people believe in God the same either. That's what I was taught too, right? Mm hmm. Well, well. <laughs> and I found out there's a lot of things in the Bible they don't even want to deal with or are even showing you now. Mm hmm. And John talks about the lukewarm church. Are we it? <laughs> that would kind of be the point to all this, right? I'm still not trying to do nothing wrong, but I'm still trying to find what I feel I want, not you want for me. <laughs> By the way, mm-hmm. That's something you need to understand. <laughs> you don't know the real Shane Lee if you just met me a few days and I never saw you again either. either. <laughs> you don't know my whole life. I know. <laughs> We're strangers in the dark then, both prodigal sons and daughters and... <laughs> Maybe just having a few one night stands or something, right? And then trying to deal with the aftermath of whatever's going on in both our worlds that we're not aware of, right? <laughs> I have to share this because your good friend Mary J. Blige, when asked about you on know, Watch What Happens Live, she said one of the most incredible female rappers that opened the door for so many women. It's surreal, but it's also a vice versa type thing for me because I feel the same way about her. It's definitely rewarding. <laughs> I used to blur that out. <laughs> yep. Bobby, she still looks good. Bobby, you know. Mm -hmm. I feel very blessed. It's really only been a decade, girl, and a half. <laughs> But like I said, unless Molly did something crazy to mess with me and Lim, I don't know what dumb out. <laughs> but I'm home talking to someone named Molly. <laughs> not Molly. <laughs> Even I know that they're not the same person, right? <laughs> and I wasn't really expecting her to come showing up at my house, but if she did, I would say you know, so her entourage would follow her or something. <laughs> right? I mean, <laughs> even making up crazy things about that is made up. <laughs> And you should know, and you should know. But soon, the high stakes life caught up with her. In 2005, Kim was sentenced to a year in prison for lying to a federal grand jury to protect friends who were involved in 2001. But then there's things in the Bible people don't understand were written out later mm -hmm. that are trying to explain something in more detail. Because it's just a short story version of what happened. It's a generalized telling of a detail. Right? And, mm. and I told you, I don't know Kim, but I don't mind thick women. 
I've been with a few. No. In 1994, but that's the point. <laughs> Don't mean I have to worry about that or she has to worry about me. I just recognize attractive women. <laughs> and I was taught the song by Poison, you can look but you can't touch without permission, right? Right. And I taught the weight for someone who what? Wants to give you permission, right? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Now, if I'm losing an hour around somebody, I'm wondering what happened there. And did someone give me permission, but someone just didn't want them to, right? But there's a show called Ozark. Oh, I know about that, too, right? Oh, my gosh, I love Ozark. I love Ozark. Mm-hmm. That is, like, if I could play a role in a movie or something, I would play Ozark. Broken promises got consequences. Are you ever shocked by some of the headlines that... 2020 was a crazy year. Shocked by any of the headlines that stood out to you. I mean, even in hip hop. Oh yeah, I also saw a Bollywood movie last night called uh, The Master, right? <laughs> so the beginning of the shockness is when I was in LA at the Grammys and my friends came running in a room saying that Kobe Bryant died in a yeah. And I just Google because. Once I heard that, you know, his daughter was with him, I broke down like if it was my family for real. So for me, after that, I don't think nothing else was too much of a shaka except for like the George Floyd incident that bothered me and hurt me so bad. You know, my soul was just disrupted and interrupted. And, you know, after that, things that happened, it was just like, this is 2020. Here's to hoping for a gentler 2021 for all of us. Just go and see what's on, Mary.